Hey guys, it's Crayonis, and I want to show you my doll customs that I made. This was my first, and this is my second. And their clothes, well, neither of their clothes can really be removed because I glued it in some places because even though I need to fix her tights, I'm probably going to glue them around the top so they stay a little better. And Sorry, I'm like blocking the natural light coming in right now. And um, you can tell that they're both very different. Almost similar in style though, her clothing. But I'm gonna readjust that way they're in a little better light. This one is my first one. Oh, she does not want to focus. Let's see if I can get her face to focus. There we go. And she was a Krita Monster doll, so her head comes right off without a peg. There's no peg. Uh, let's see if I can do this one handed. No, I can't. Sorry. Or I'd show you real quick and I couldn't decide on eyebrows so I did these like dot type eyebrows that kind of look like piercings gave her a nose bridge a lip piercing above her lip and then the lip piercing through her lip and then I did on the side because she doesn't have ears kind of like piercing like details Sorry, she does not want to focus. She is quite shiny in some places. So that's probably why she doesn't want to focus. And then... You can see the shine on her face right there with the sun. She wants to focus on the front, but not that side. She has silver and black spikes in her hair. She has... It was... She came with this plastic hairpiece. I adjusted it made it look more like a ponytail. I added black, painted it a different color because it was a um, turquoise-like color. You can't see it. I have, I painted everything. So it is painted with a green metallic. I did her eyes yellow and a metallic blue. And then she had these eyelash indents in her face, so I did color those and I gave her a winged eyeliner. And then the indents that she had in her skin, I painted the like a pistachio green. And then I gave her purple, and then I did the indents there, and she's got little scales and then for her neck as well, because you could see them. Originally, I was going to give her a bathing suit, so actually her whole body like that is painted. If I can... Here, let me... So all of her details are done like that with the pistachio green and then her belly button. And for her dress, it was a Bratz doll's dress that I sewed right here. I can I am sorry this is having such a hard time focusing I think it's the fact that okay there we go I sewed right here and then I added some spikes and then I gave her a little ribbon belt from the straps I cut off of it and then I put spikes on it no I don't want to pull that too much I might have to add a little bit of glue there because that looks a little loose because these are just flat spikes that have no holes in them and then in the back, I'll lift up her little cape thing. I just sewed it together. And I had used marker to dye this piece that was pink into a purpley blue color. And I added a part from a skirt that was falling apart, which was also brat clothing. This, so it would give her a little more detail and you wouldn't see her butt because you would have seen her butt otherwise. And then I sewed her tights from old stockings that are an ombre, so they go from gray to black. You can see the black in her shoes. And then I painted purple and blue, and I painted the shoes black themselves. And then I just sewed her little, like, capelet type thing onto her arms. So it's kind of like bat-like, and then I gave it little 
dimensions so each little piece is a different length and comes to like a slight point at the end and for her jewelry she has a bracelet with a ring I used a little jump rings and then she got rings and then another ring and a couple jump rings here to look like bangles and her choker which is the other ribbon from the straps that I cut and then I put a little o-ring there and then my other girl is a spectra that I painted her hands and arms blue same with her feet her legs are as well because I was going to give her a skirt but I decided on these tights that were a little big in the back so in the back it is glued so that doesn't come off I painted her bag as well and I made her belt Ooh, which looks like it's there we go a little bit tangled for me uh, picking her up but that's okay that's an easy fix uh, she has little blue dot details on her and they're there as well and she also has them on her back but her clothes cover them up this was a brat's top so it is sewn right here and then glued up glued to here because it was popping out and I like how you her dots are like her mystery markings and her hair is made of yarn two different types and the blue detail goes to her face like if they were piercings and I used paint for her thick liner and then on her little uh, irises I gave her five in each eye and then her whites of her eyes also paint and then I used two different color pencils for her eyebrow not her eyebrows her eyes for her as well and then like I said her hair is yarn I looks like I just when I sit her on the bed I got a little bit of fluff that does not belong there so I will have to get that out that's that's a fuzz there's a fuss in her hair no 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 oh goodness no and then her shoes were painted as well and I painted her toes ooh, ooh, the chain is sticking to the and I added chain to the back and I gave her pants because there was an opening in the back a little bit of paint so you wouldn't see the black there but I kept the and then I used the same color paint for black at the bottom of the opening for that. Her belt goes all the way around. It's got a little black chain at the top. Her top, I was going to try to dye it, but I actually really like that it's like a greeny brown with lace. She's kind of very casual. Her belt just carries her bag. I didn't really do any jewelry except for her little chain bracelet right there and her belt as her accessory with her bag other than her shoes so she's oops sorry I just put my finger in front of the camera for a second and basically and that's them together I'm working on a third doll and then a swap which I cannot talk about, but I might film the video once it's done. And then once my partner for the swap has the doll, I will post the video. Possibly. We will see. I might try to do my progress and then piece the clips together. But I'm not sure how to do that yet. But I'm sure I could figure out how to piece the clips together to show the progress of it and once the other doll is done I will show you you guys that way you can see but bye for now